Hello, welcome to another tutorial. This is um, a quick tutorial to finish off from lesson seven. In lesson seven, we we did a, we did a um, damage uh, criteria where each time the enemy hit us, he took twenty five of our hundred health off us. So just to show you very quickly, course seven. We're down into minus numbers now. We don't want to have those minus numbers. What we want to do is have the um, have us be destroyed when we when we reach zero. So what we need to do there is we need to actually, for the first time now, we need to go into our first person character. Um, last time we were in the first person character, we just set up player health. This time we're just going to set up a very quick um, event, tech event, to check our health. And when our health goes down to zero, we'll be out. We'll be out of the game. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do event tick. Um, then the event tick will need to go off into a branch. Um, what what event tick does is it just constantly checks um, the general advice is not to have too many event ticks in your game because if things are constantly being checked if conditions are constantly being checked the um, the game will slow down so event tick and then we need a branch um, a branch is basically uh, true or false yes or no um, you know is it higher or lower than so with our condition we need to do is the integer is is the life <clears throat> less than so so basically our condition is going to be is our life less than one and if it is if it's less than one we will we'll end the game so i need to drag off the zero just to get um player health so i can get player health there and basically there's player health so that's going to be 100 because it's because we set it to be 100 the variable is 100 as you can see there so for the player health so if it's less than zero we want to um end the game so we could put in um just just to see things happening we could put in print string um what could we put in um energy gone um, we could put in a delay um, a delay for for three seconds so we of yeah, for three seconds just so we can see that message and then something we've done before destroy the actor destroy actor so basically that's pretty much it constantly check for a condition of less than one uh, if if it is less than one print string energy gone um, we'll pause that for three seconds then we'll destroy the actor let's compile and now let's go in and play the game so what happens it hits us once twice this should be the last seconds and, and it's game over um so that worked that worked pretty well i think what we'll what we'll do now is we'll just modify the um that's that setup that's working i would probably um let's just quickly change that down to 0 0.5 and um we know it works we you can remove these print strings and these delays uh when you're when you're making the game they're there purely for, for the for the tutorials to see what's going on <clears throat> so now i'm going to go into my third person character let's let's make a quick change to our enemy um what do we do what i think we'll do is before we'll get rid of the delay now um let's get rid of that delay and we'll put in D 
destroy actor let's try putting that in destroy act, destroy actor and then and then go into that so compile it now see what that does that's got a quick fix will it work so basically when he hits me he should take um, some life off and then so he's, he's taking the life off so that's great but of course the game has ended then so what what we can do now is where do we start so let's um let's create some let's create some more enemies we need to create four more don't we so i'm gonna put in an enemy there and i'm going to rotate him so that he he sees us but i'm going to do it so that it takes a bit of time to say yes and then i'm going to put in another enemy here and i'm going to spin him around So he'll see us there and I'm going to put one more in that will see us straight away. So there's four enemies now gone into our game. He should come strutting in. If you look at the map, he should come running straight after me. He will see me when I reach there. He will catch me just before I get to him. Okay, so let's let's try playing it's so four enemies Shh, they'll disappear then i'll disappear so he can't quite see me yet because i'm behind the boxes now he sees me i let him hit me explosion is gone and down to 75 now let's go to this guy he sees me down to 50 He sees me down 25 and now this guy should see me just as I can here and energy gone zero and I'm out of the game so um, there you could see probably the makings of of the game there um, obviously I set the enemies up so they was difficult for them to see me um, and shoot them um, but obviously the game restarts each time now because of, because of the way because of the way that I've done this. So what you can do is is you need to go in and, and make changes to the game. So um, you would probably um, what what I've just copied the same enemies in. Um, probably what what I should have done, and I'll probably do it in another tutorial. I'll just put in I'll, I'll edit those enemies so that so that the game makes a bit more sense but i hope you found that that tutorial useful in setting up um or killing off the character when he reaches the end of his life thank you very much and i'll see you at the next tutorial